This is Rondelmon. I've got my telescope set up, what I've been using maybe the last four or five months. So I was just going to show it to you. It is a um, Mead ETX uh, LS6. And um, it has the um, little monitor that you can buy, which is kind of handy to have. That's an accessory. And uh, the way I use it, I have hooked to it a Sony um, CX550V Handycam. And um, that is attached through the te to this telescope via a, I'm trying to think of the name of it, it's a, you can see it right here, this little piece right there. It's a Scopetronics Max U40 lens and video camera adapter. And it's made specially for doing adapting a telescope to a handy cam or another video camera. And um, it goes into the diagonal, the regular Mead diagonal. And it allows, this configuration allows this thing to go up to 90 degrees elevation without the camera breaking off on the bottom. Um, so you can't really, I don't think you could use a focuser that's right in this area, you know, a direct focuser, and then have the camera stick out because it would hit the bottom of this telescope and break off. Okay? And this camera, it records in high definition. I think it's 12 megapixel camera. And uh, that's what I use to record. And I also use the video output right here. Right here. And I run that to my laptop. And then I just let it run unattended. And UFO Capture is looking at the video output signal. And it triggers every time it sees motion. And I have the camera synced, the time synced with the PC. Um, so I can just go back to the actual high definition video because I know what time it's it's synced, it hit on the uh, laptop and I can go search there and find the uh, movement on the actual high definition video and it's got the power adapter right below it right there so you'll be running on AC power as well right there and you, I have a string uh, uh, like a shoestring tied up here let me get this up here. A shoestring that's attached to the telescope. And it also has got a little clip that I put on there, right there. And it attaches right there so in case it came loose it would not fall all the way to the ground. Also on this telescope right here is the um, JMI Motofocus uh, focuser that fits right on the um, focuser knob and this is really a handy unit but it's a little pricey um, and but I decided to do it because along with this folk the motor you can get a, a digital readout device right here and if you turn it on um, it'll give you a digital readout and it's set to zero when you first power it up and this thing stays focused where you were last at. You know, and it keeps somebody from coming by and knocking the focus off. Since I do all my focusing, currently I have for the last eight months roughly, on the moon, moon I use that for setting up my focus because I'm looking at near-Earth objects. Satellites mostly. Okay? And then you can adjust this um, either fast or slow speed your focus and step it uh, 0.01 millimeters at a time it turns and so you can get a pretty accurate focus just by punching it once or twice and stepping back and forth um, so this unit works pretty well and once you get this focus set you don't have to worry about it you just turn it on each time and if you want to refocus you can and if not you don't have to Okay. And 
and the reason I got that is because I couldn't remember when I was what I was focused on last. So this now leaves it set. I whenever I if I adjust it while I'm working at night, I always move it back to zero so I know where I started. Okay. So I use the focuser and I uh, focus it using just a regular 40 millimeter lens or whatever you have, but. I do that first, um, just a mead lens. I don't don't have the video camera in. And this camera, um, I turn on and uh, set it for manual focus. And what you're really focusing on in this camera is the diagonal down here. So mine, I have it set for 0.9 meters, and that gives me the best vision of what's being displayed on this diagonal. In this camera and then the camera itself can magnify up to 10 10x optical um, I find it you know it varies but I find the best to use is between 3x and maybe 8x for the clearest pictures so anyway that's how this is set up so what I've been using for the last nine months Works pretty good. And up on top, I can show you that. I, I put this little amount of this little block of wood. Um, and that's where I put my infrared finder scope. It's really a Yukon Night Ranger. And it's also got its own safety clip attached. Alright, just the same the same kind of configuration. So if this falls loose, it's not gonna hit the ground, right? And I just screw my Monocular in here and tighten it up with a screw on the, tighten it up with a screw on the bottom Okay, so that's my setup and of course I still have Intel stat 5 on my wall And I don't know I'll, I'll see if this shows up, but this is one of the objects um, And I don't know if you can see this this is one of the objects I caught out in space. Can you see that? It might show up okay in the movie. If not, I'll put an image on it. But that's kind of a weird thing, whatever the hell that was. Okay? All right, that's it for now.